Welcome back, Terrifics. Daryl Reed here from Toy Fair 2017. This is BeTerrific.com, and it would not be this special without you guys. So make sure you're sending in your comments, your questions, anything you got for us on our Slack chat, and we'll be checking that periodically. Um, having so much fun, swapping in and out with Mike, doing some things together. So exciting here at Toy Fair. It's just amazing. I mean, have you seen some of the toys that have come by the booth today? It's just amazing. Right now we have Daniel from OWI with Robotic Kits. Um, and tell us a little bit about what Robotic Kits are. So Robotic Kits are our line of educational science and robot kits. So we have uh, different kinds of robot kits with uh, different educational purposes. We try to get a different scientific principle across with different kits. Um, we started with traditional robotics, then we uh, segued into mini solar kits, which is our line of solar powered robot kits. We have alternative energy kits like a saltwater fuel cell, an air powered racer, and a hydraulic arm. Uh, this year we're introducing a magnetic levitation train called the Magnetic Levitation Express. So it's our newest kit that is a maglev train. Magnets are pretty hot this year. It's been quite a few toys that came by the booth today with, with magnetic fields and something to do with magnets um, and different concepts, different uses. Um, tell me a little bit more about OWI. So OWI itself has been around since 1978. Originally started as a speaker company the robotics division started in 1980, and uh, we've been going ever since. Uh, originally, it was you know traditional robots, as I mentioned before, uh, but around 2009, we started shifting our direction towards more uh, environmentally aware kits and kits that, like the solar kits. Um, this kit is great because it introduces the idea about magnetic levitation, and what's so cool about magnetic levitation as a form of transportation is that it, 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 there's no friction because it's lifted off the ground. The train is lifted off the ground and that increases the speed with no friction using the least amount of energy. I love what you guys are doing, Mark here, and uh, you know this is very futuristic in a retro kind of way. I mean, when I was growing up, we loved science kits, and suddenly it went to robotics, and suddenly now we're moving back to, again, the natural forms, instead of using electronics and that sort of thing, we're trying to use things like gravity and the sun and things right. that are out there, right. which I is... I mean, these, uh, are, these are concepts that, you know, we people talked about and imagined in the right. 80s, right? Right. You know, with, with magnetic trains or anti-gravity uh, trains and anti-gravity... Uh, cars and things like that, and now it's coming to fruition. I mean, that looks like a comic book cover from the 40s. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, and it just speaks to, uh, you know, OWI as a company. I mean, they've been here at the Jacob Javits Center 30 years straight, 30 years running, and obviously they're on the cutting edge of evolution and how things are always evolving, and they're always on the cutting edge of it. So if we can get a demonstration of this, uh, Magnetic Express here that we have here at the booth right now. David, shut the pace, smoker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So to start it, there's a switch in the middle carriage. Do you see that? If you get it, you have to you have to switch it. There's there's numbers. There's zero, which is off. One is the first mode. When it's on one, when the red light turns on, you can push it slightly. It's going I, backwards. No, no, hold on. Oh. Train wreck. It's off the tracks. Train wreck. I can fix it. I can fix it. <laughs> Mike, what kind of demonstrator are you, buddy? Yeah, you picked the wrong guy. Maybe, maybe we should have got the directions with the train. I'm starting to sweat a little. Bit. Okay, no, it's it's okay. It's well, it's resisting now. Yeah. So you have to. Do you have to turn it off first? It would probably be wise. Yeah. Okay. So now you can push it, and then it'll it'll go. Okay. So it's up in the air right now. Give it. So, so the red light turn. So you have to wait for the red light to turn on, and then give it a slight push. Is that a pull? It might. It might need a little. Okay, I think that's good enough. But so in in this mode, it will run for about a minute and a half to two minutes. 
So it has two modes. And this mode will run at the same speed. In the other mode, there there's three different speeds, and those speeds uh, are indicated by the, the same LED, that red LED light on there will start blinking in three different speeds. And in the in that mode number two, it will run continuously. It won't stop after the two minutes. Now, is this electromagnet, ceramic magnet? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's run by an electromagnet along the propulsion magnet, which is the, the interior guide rail. Right. So, yeah, so that electromagnet, um, along with the varying force of the guide rail, is, is, it creates the magnetic propulsion. But it is true, we don't even know what magnetism is, which is the coolest thing. I mean, we, we gave it a name, so we think we know. Yeah, it's, but it's, uh, it, it really is a uh, in, just like gravity. We call it gravity. We don't know what makes us stick to it. Yeah, it's it's a basic scientific principle, and I and it I think it our goal with this is to spark curiosity about magnets. Um, now, do they build it from scratch? So you build it from the components that come in the in the box. Mm -hmm. So not completely from scratch, but. <clears throat> There is several molded plastic pieces similar to what will come in a in a traditional model, as well as as well as other parts, and the the circuit board is pre-assembled, so and that has contains mm -hmm. the electromagnet. Uh, you do it does require two uh, AA batteries to get the electromagnet started, and those are on the are on the front and back carriage. So how, in your opinion, I guess Daniel. Why do you think this concept hasn't come to the real world yet, or to our world, well, actually, to actual trains? So actually, it does exist, just not in the United States. Okay. So in Shanghai, there's a commercial maglev train that it's it, since about 2004. Okay. Was a year, and it goes uh, 461 kilometers per hour. So it's a it's a pretty fast, energy efficient form of transportation. We just right now in in the United States don't have the infrastructure set in place for it, but I'm sure it's it's in the horizon to have this type of transportation be more widespread and common. That's that's very interesting. And you interesting. have to get air flight insurance to get on the. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a uh, train set when you were young? Mark? Yeah, I did, but mine were the traditional Lionels. They <laughs> right. flew, but only right. when I threw it at my brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so th this guide rail is also in place so that the train doesn't fly off. Right. Yes. Yeah, well, it was interesting when it when it fell off. It looks like it could fall off to the to the outside, but not to the inside. Obviously, because of the guide rail. But is it pushing it more in inside than outside? Well, it's, it's, it's doing both at the same time. Okay. And that, that's kind of what creates mm -hmm. the propulsion. So it's it's varying forces going back and forth. Gotcha, gotcha. Very interesting, very, very interesting concept. Uh, appreciate it, Daniel. Um, OWI, robotic kits, many, many different, different types of robotic kits that you can get that have different, um, different ways of operating. And you know, this is just one of them using electro electromagnetic field here. The um, 1940s have come back. <laughs> the 40s are they back. Are Mark says future. the 40s are back. You know, and all those different concepts, you know, from the, from uh, back to the future, the future is now at beterrific.com. Toy Fair 2017, we'll be back.